everybody, this is Felicia, and I'm here with layout number two of round six for the love of homemade kids. This is a series that I am doing with Hannah, Megan, Christina, and Sarah. So we're all, we all choose an inspiration piece for the kit, and then we go ahead and we choose papers and embellishments and things like that to go with the kit. So here I am working with part of the kit here and I have these two photos of my grandson and I have to tell you a little bit about that so he was he didn't want to walk anymore because I had walked him and um, he was only about I think about 14 months old in this photo here and he didn't want to walk anymore I took him out for a little walk and we only got like a half a block away <laughs> from the house and he didn't want to walk anymore so he decided to go ahead and sit down here right underneath this one-way sign, which I thought was hilarious. And so I kept trying to get him to get up and he didn't want to. And you could see him in the bottom photo there leaning forward. He just didn't want to do it. <laughs> so um, eventually, after me standing there and taking a few photos of him, um, he decided that he wanted to get up and walk a little bit. So we finally did got him up and then we turned around and we went back home because that was as far as he wanted to walk so so i kept trying to figure out i wonder why he didn't want to walk anymore and you know it was just like eh, okay well whatever so if you look closely he has a little tiny little tennis shoes on and apparently at the time <laughs> there was a rock in there <laughs> but he didn't say anything and so when i and he kept pointing to his shoe, you know, even when he, and I kept looking, I go, well, it's tied and, you know, nothing's wrong with the shoe, but I don't know. It just was the funniest thing because he kept pointing to it and he, you know, he could only say shoe, shoe. And, you know, he was trying to say exactly kind of give us a hint, but, you know, so when I took his little shoes off, a little rock fell out. So that is exactly why he didn't want to walk anymore. <laughs> And it was such a little short distance, too. So that's why I was wondering what was going on. So that is the story behind this photo. So <laughs> anyway, so um, now he walks and runs and jumps and leaps and all that other good stuff. So and in, in the event that you're wondering why I scrapping, um, excuse me, I'm scrapping a lot of photos here of my grandson is because this is his birthday month. His birthday's in the same month as mine, and my he was born on my husband's and my anniversary, which is September the 4th, and it's really funny because my daughter, after he was born, she said, happy anniversary, here's your present. So now on to the layout here. So as you can see, I'm using everything that I had in the kit, um, especially my favorites, which are enamel dots. And I'm going to take this stamp set here and I'm going to use this stamp set. And I'm trying to figure out if I want it to look like journaling underneath or if I want it to look like journaling on the side. So I don't actually journal on this layout. I just pretty much put the stamp set, line it up here next to the open part of this um, half banner piece that I have. And it looks like journaling once I'm done. So I thought it would be a cool thing to do for this layout. And so that's what I, I'm doing right now is I'm lining it up so that I can put it on there. And I'm only stamping part of the stamp. So I'm stamping the part where it has the words and then dot, 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 dot. So I stamped the wrong side. So that's why I was wiping that off. So you'll see here once I take the stamp and I put it down. So I'm doing partial stamping. See? So it does look like journaling. And then... Part of it didn't come out at the beginning, so I just filled it in a little bit there with my black pen, which worked out perfect. And so I'm going to do another one just like that. So I do this about four times, I think it is. And um, I'm using my favorite ink there, which is the Versafine ink, which is the best ink, I think, in my opinion, to use for a nice crisp black um, stamp image. It works perfect. So I'm doing another one here. And I'm just partially stamping, like I said, and it looks like journaling and I like it. And then I get some on my mat. I do eventually get that off. I use some of the ink um, rubber stamp cleaner and it comes right off. So I was really happy about that. So I think that is the last one that I do. So, and I had to fill that one in too as well. So that is it. And so that is my stamp being thing there. And that's it. So be sure to tune into Christina, Megan's, Sarah's, 
and Hannah's channel to see what they come up with with their kids, guys. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.